Hey everyone, welcome back to the Pokemon Challenge from Akon27. Now, we're going into the E4. I only needed to beat one out of the four. I beat three out of the four. The one I did not beat wasn't still, but fire. Fire I actually went kind of cheap against. I have three fire types against still. I was very cheap. Yeah, I feel bad for being cheap, but I figured my Mono Ghost team wouldn't do anything. Alright, since this was the one of the single E4s, and I'm better in singles than doubles, I set out my Sableye, Mega It, of course. This way, if it tried to do, like, Stealth Rocks, Spikes, something of that effect, it'd just get Magic Bounced back! And since it got Magic Bounced back, even though I think he wasn't paying attention at that moment. He didn't realize it got magic bounce back, and he thought I had hazards on my side of the field. When in fact, when he did spikes, that's when he snapped to it and saw that I had magic bounce. And he was like, oh. Oh. Wow. I mean, still was a really fun battle. He was really good. Really fun. Surprised he didn't swap Heatran out into the Will O Wisp, but he didn't probably know I had Will O Wisp until after I burned his um, Skarmory. Here comes Mawile. I hate this thing with a passion. Mawile has destroyed my team so many times because of the fairy steel type. And it's his Mega. Ugh, I want to strangle that thing. So, he sets up his sword stance. I predicted that, and I went, like, Nope, you're going to get burned. So glad Burn Claws was not actually a cause for this. And now I sit down with Hope because it's not going to do much. And if it does do much... Oh well, I have a Volcarona. I don't expect it to live either. Yeah, here comes the Sucker Punch. I should have just done Quiver Dance, but that's just me being me. I did Bug Buzz just to try to lower its special defense, which it happens. Of course, I'm running leftovers on my Volcarona. If I don't have my Volcarona, I have it on a Rotom. If I don't have it on a Rotom, I have it on my Jellicent. Since I felt a Sucker Punch coming, I figured I'd just roost, gain all my health back. Let Baron deal its damage to Mawile. Swap out again, because I was expecting either another Sword Stance or a um, Sucker Punch. And there goes the Sucker Punch. And I'm just letting Burn deal with it, because it's going to die anyway. It was either going to set up another Sword Stance, or it was going to use Play Rock. And this is a Life Orbed um, Infernate. I think I switch here. Yeah, I switch here, because Infernate would die from, like, one Shadow Ball. <laughs> Sword Stance. What's Sword Stance, Shadow Skink, Sacred Sword, uh, King's Guard, King Shield. It's not a bad set in singles, but if you're gonna do a double Sword Stance against someone that has foul play, not the wisest idea. I'm surprised it lived. And I'm surprised it has uh, leftovers instead of weakness policy. Because then it would be at a plus 6 instead of just plus 4. And plus 6 Shadow Sneak would have taken out my sap. Uh, no, it would have done a little shy of taking me out. What's my soda? There it is. Here comes Scizor.
he was expecting me to switch, and I didn't. Oh wait, no, that's later. That's later. Man, that technician U-turn, that hurts. Here comes Empoleon. Empoleon scared me because I'm so used to fighting my friend M in Pokemon battles. And his Empoleon is defensive as all hell. So I didn't know how to handle it. I was just like, you know what? Empoleon burn. I was going to try to burn the um, Scizor, but since he's U-turn. I was expecting a switch from Empoleon to Scizor or... I wasn't expecting a substitute in Polion at all, but I'm very glad it happened. And here comes a Jilly, yeah, which I have no clue why he does this. But it's whatever, it's a Jilly, I'm just gonna recover all my HP, let him slowly die to burn. He has what, two more turns left? If he had a Baton pass, that would be good. And here comes my troll undead tree. I, I predicted, like, scold or something. I, I knew it was a water attack was coming, so I was like, okay, undead tree. I, I knew it wouldn't be very effective against grass, that's why I swapped it out. But here comes the Ice Beam. You didn't expect the Ice Beam. But since I was burned, and it doesn't really matter, I knew I couldn't get frozen. But Undead Tree dies along with Empoleon, because Empoleon used Ice Beam. It died to burn. It's cool. Here comes the Heatran on an air balloon, so spikes don't do any damage to it yet. The air balloon is very common. I use Stab Shadow Ball, tried to lower its special defense because it's a legendary Pokemon to begin with. As you all well know, my smoke is a Choice Scarf Chandelure, so it's not going to do anything against uh, anything else besides Shadow Ball. That's what I mean. And here comes the second Stealth Rocks, which I figured would happen, but I, I didn't want to trade out because I felt like if I traded out, Stealth Rocks wouldn't even apply to their side of the field anymore. Skarmory just gets one shot with a Shadow Ball. Because Skarmory was going to try to set up another Spikes along with. Uh, Heatran's, uh, Stealth Rocks. And I forgot to mention this in the beginning. You had to, um... Actually, no. I didn't mention that in the beginning. You had to beat one out of the four E4 to continue to the tournament. But if you lost twice to one... E4 two times or two E4 once, you were out of the tournament. I just got really lucky and beat it still on first try. Alright, still, that was really, really fun. I'm very glad about that battle. I actually loved every moment of it. Alright, guys, I love you guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye!